Major League South promotion final. We are at a sold out Sussex Transport Community Stadium. 2,700 fans in the house. And if you couldn't get a ticket, then you get on the roof. That is the next best thing. Absolutely brilliant atmosphere down here today. Look, everybody is everywhere. Getting those vantage points where they can. Everybody wants to be here to see if Worthing or Braintree can get themselves to the National League next season. Your commentators to take you through this game, Dan Mason and Adam Virgo. That's Vicky. It's a campaign that started over nine months ago. And it all comes down to this. All that hard graft has got Worthing and Braintree town to where they are. One more win will get them to where they want to be. A place in the National League is at stake. It would be a first for Worthing, who only reached this level a couple of years ago. For Braintree, it would be a return to the fifth tier for the first time since 2019. The conditions in Worthing are a little bit soggy today, but nothing is likely to dampen the enthusiasm of this National League South promotion final. Let's take a look at the two teams then. Starting with the home side, Worthing, three of their 11 played in last year's semi-final. While new signings like fullback Joe Felix and forward Danny Cashman have come in and added attacking flair. There's one change to the Worthing side that beat Maidstone in the semi. Nick Wheeler starts in place of teenager Brad Dollahan. The main man, of course, is Ollie Pierce, a survivor of last year's playoffs. He's almost doubled his goal tally this season. He's got 45 goals in all competitions. And this is the Braintree side that will try and stop the Rebels. Joe Grimwood is a real challenge in central defence. He's partnered by Trent Rendell on loan from Queen's Park Rangers. Although Braintree have rebuilt this season, five of this 11 played against Worthing in last year's playoffs, including top scorer Aaron Blair. A recent addition, though, is Freddie Sears. The former West Ham, Ipswich and Colchester striker has two goals in 12 Braintree games so far. Braintree in the orange shirts with white sleeves, Swerving in their traditional red, and on the attack here with Joe Felix. Could be a chance for Wills, he's in! Oh, what a block that was from Rendell. And then appeals for a penalty, waved away. That looked a little suspicious to me in the aftermath. Jack Sims was called upon to make a save, and the pressure is still on Braintree here. We will bring it away. We were very, very close to a goal inside 90 seconds there, Adam. Well, I have to say the referee was in a really, really good position. It's Danny Cashman is the player that is involved. That was a good play early on. Really, really important. But this is the one here. I think Rendell might have just clipped Danny Cashman there lost only two matches since New Year's Day, Angelo Harrop's men. 16 wins from 22 games before now, and a decent effort coming in from Leon Davis. It took a deflection en route, so it will be a Braintree Town corner. There's been a lot of rain that's come down pre-match, so there could be plenty of zip on the surface. Midway point in the first half now. Even Stevens so far. Woodside Road. Braintree got planned from this corner. Goalkeeper couldn't get there. And Braintree Town take the lead. Dominic Odesanya with the goal. A textbook header at the far post. We said that Braintree would get chances. They've just taken one. Odisanya's first goal for the club. What a time to get it. Caught it just before the corner. Said they were poor at defending corners. Worthing, and again, it's just one of those goals that gives you nightmares as a manager. It's a brilliant ball to the far post. It's Wadman, the player that was on him, and he just loses him for that split second. And when you turn your back on the ball and you're trying to find a player, you are in trouble. When he's gone into the six-yard box there, I mean, looking at the goalkeeper as well. 
should have done better with it, but he doesn't care. What a start from his side. Yeah. Harris Alton top. He's read that well, and now he's released Pierce. Brought it down well. It's Ollie Pierce. Absolutely brilliant from Worthing's main man. A 46 goal of the season. And that was just brilliant from the front man. He brought it down with a minimum of effort. And just dinked it past the advancing goalkeeper. That's how he's been doing it all season long. Ollie Pierce makes it 1 1 here. Well, the last time I mentioned him was introducing him into the game before kickoff. And he is on side, but I'm telling you now, this is a world class goal. To control a ball like that over your shoulder and then just have the awareness to use your left foot and pass it into the goal is absolutely brilliant there from him. Question the goalkeeper's positioning slightly, but I do not want to take anything away from this finish. Unbelievable. And what a way to get yourself back into the game. That is pure class from Oli Pierce. Let me tell you, there are players in the Premier League that can't finish like that. No names mentioned. <laughs> Clubs. Here's Pierce. He's cut inside Rendell. Spong is arriving. And Worthing lead by two goals to one. Jack Spong with his fourth goal in four games. Worthing turning it around and taking the lead for the first time in this year's National League South final. They're raising the roof here at Woodside Park. Well, it's a goal from nothing again from Worthing. Game finally in the balance. It's a great ball there from Joel Colbrand there to put Ollie Pierce in again. And now he's just got that area then to look up. Jack Spong comes in, and when that ball gets rolled back to him, I just said to myself, just make sure you get your head over the ball and control that ball into the goal. It's a really tidy finish there from him. The pace of the pass was perfect into him. All you need to do is get the right connection. Brilliant goal. Jack Spong has really hit form at a good time for Worthing. The last two matches of the regular season saw him score his first senior goals. What a purple patch this is. It could be a, a run of goals that carries them into the National League for the first time in the club's history. Next five or ten minutes might be absolutely crucial. Desania. Braintree still getting a lot of possession here. It's Aaron Blair. It's 2-2. Braintree town level. And the travelling supporters are jubilant. Aaron Blair left alone. And he didn't need a second invitation. A 15th goal of the campaign for him. And Braintree are back in business. Well, they've relied on him in goals this season yet again. He has stepped up. It's a brilliant finish. And it seems like a lot of these goals that are happening today are really just coming from nothing. It's only Pierce that loses it in that midfield area. Not a Sania there with that ball over the top. Lions Foster is really, really stretching for it. That's a really good finish. I have to say that. A top quality finish. Capitalizes on a mistake. It's a goal from nothing. And now we're in the balance yet again. Wendell involved immediately again, and not a great header. He made amends with a quite a little touch on that attempted spawn cross. long ball another one which has opened up Worthing Wheeler's got back oh what a sensational goal that is magnificent from Charlie Wakefield you talk about goals out of nothing how about that one he 
It's the goal of his dreams. Could it be the goal that sends Braintree into the National League? I don't think anyone was expecting that. Least of all the Braintree fans. And certainly not the Worthing supporters. What a game we are seeing here. Well, I'll tell you now, Dan, we are seeing some exceptional finishing here. And this really tops the lot. Talking about this high line again, it's not working. Spacing behind every single time. We know his ability. I think even when you show him on the outside there, as Wheeler does, could he get a little bit tighter? Maybe. He talked to go on the outside there, but it's that quick touch. And that is the only place that ball could have just squeezed off the post and then go into the goal. It's a goal of real brilliance, it really is. That is his first goal for the club. One that was worth waiting for, I think it's fair to say. He was born in this part of the world, Charlie Wakefield. Absolutely sensational goal to give Braintree Town the lead. The balance of power in this game has swung one way, then the other. The promotion finals delivering again. Now Pierce flagged down. It's Oli Pierce for Worthing. Wants it on his left foot. And it's 3-3. Three, three. Danny Katzman has leveled for Worthing. Chest here at Woodside Road. Cashman on target. It's the Worthing fans that celebrate. 68 minutes on the clock, and we're all square at three each. I'll never get bored of this game, Dan. I absolutely love it because you have no idea what's going to come next. And it's a real timely run there from Ollie Pierce yet again. That gets him behind, checks inside nicely. On the plate, Danny Cashman, to get yourself a goal. Brilliant play from the centre forward. Pings it back, lovely. Great, great run there from Cashman. Don't ask me what's going to happen next, so I have no idea. Well, Oli Pierce has scored one and made two for Worthing. His value has never been in doubt, but what an absolute sickener for Braintree Town. One minute. And 56 seconds, I think it was, between the two goals. Only seconds left in normal time in this National League South promotion final. Worthing survived the late threat. It looks like we're going to go all the way. We were always expecting today to be a fiercely competitive game. And there has been no separating Worthing and Braintree Town. Six goals shared in regulation time. Angelo Harrop and Aaron Racine must try and lift their players for the extra 30 minutes. We will be going into extra time here. It'll be coming up shortly. Worthing three, Braintree three. And Can they come up trumps? This final period of game time here. Not lost away from home since January the 1st. The Iron. Nine victories from their last 10 away trips. And they come forward here. It's Lamb! Braintree Town lead in extra time. The substitute has done it. Reggie Lamb's goal has Braintree on the brink of a return to the National League. They've surprised us again here. The Braintree Town fans kept believing and Reggie, Reggie Lamb has delivered. Well, you dig in deep as a team and you grind and you fight for everything in a game of football for these little moments now. Then again, it's just changed the pendulum of this game into Braintree's favour. They've had to work hard for this chance and opportunity. I think when you look at it as a defensive unit, 
is such a poor goal to concede. Too easy to get the cross in. Goalkeeper's beaten between the legs at the near post. Talk about a timing of a goal. Well, we all have a diving header, don't we? And Reggie Lamb has delivered an absolute beaut there. And here they come again, Braintree, with Davis Worthing on the ropes. But Davis couldn't punish them. They've got 11 minutes to save their season, Worthing. Lewis header, tipped away magnificently by Jack Sims. That was very nearly 4-4. What an incredible game we're seeing here. It could be any scoreline. Braintree still edging it 4-3, but only thanks to the acrobatics of Jack Sims. We'll stay with the action for now as Spong delivers the corner. Sims again with a punch. It'll be another flag kick here. Well, he's made some crucial saves and he's had crucial moments. And I said that. that you really need your goalkeeper to stand up big and stand up strong. Worthing under so much pressure now. Braintree get it away. That goal from Lamb will have put some extra energy in those legs. They've got something to hang on to now. And they've got to do so for 10 minutes or so. Here's the save from Sims. How crucial could this be? It's a brilliant acrobatic save. An awkward one there. Only seconds left now. Wright doing his best to keep the ball in play. But I don't think they're even going to have time to get it forward here at Worthing. They've fallen at the last. Devastating for the Rebels. But Braintree Town have done it. Reggie Lamb, the substitute, stepping off the bench and winning it for Angelo Harrop's men who once again have dug very, very deep and come up with the goods. 120 minutes played in all three of their postseason matches. They've had the energy, they've had the endurance, they've had the character to win all three of those games. Lamb the hero, but truth be told, every single one of these Braintree Town players has put in a heroic shift. The fans on the pitch now joining in in what is a celebratory pitch invasion. The players have given everything. They look dead on their feet, some of them. Braintree Town winners of the National League South promotion final. They will return to the National League after an extraordinary game here. 4-3 winners in extra time. Adam Virgo, how do you even begin to sum up what we've just seen in the last couple of hours? I'll just say congratulations to Braintree Town. They've done it the hard way and they've gone all the way back into the National League. What I will say as well, it's a great advert for non-league football to see the game played is, is the quality of goals that we have seen and fully, fully deserved. Both teams gave everything in this game, but it does come down to fine, fine margins in football. And that could be the difference in promotion. That could be the difference in winning the cup. That could be a difference in winning a the game. They've had to dig in so deep. Braintree Town fans, everybody associated with the club must be so, so proud to come away from home, to go to Chelmsford and win, win against Bath, and then go and win here today. It's an extraordinary, extraordinary victory for them and fully deserved. Great scenes of celebration here. Uh, let's go down in amongst it. Danny Jameson has got the winning goal scorer with him. Thank you, Dan. I do. Reggie, you've scored the goal that's taken Braintree back into the National League. How does it feel? Unbelievable. No words can describe this moment. I thought of it last night of scoring the winner. Come on, score the winner, sir. I don't have any more words to say.
Did you say you dreamt last night you'd score the winner? Yeah, I did. I had a dream that I was come on and score the winner. And it happened, so no words. Just put everything the, the manager said on, onto the pitch, and we got out there and we got the victory. Got promoted. Come on. Listen, when that ball comes across, you're in loads of space. We have a lot of time to think about it. The diving header comes out. Yeah, I thought about doing a, a bicycle kick, but then I thought, yeah, let me just get my head on it and score. <laughs> yeah. Listen, you mentioned the manager. How much credit does Angela Harrop deserve for getting you to this moment? Loads, loads. Even in this type of game, he knows when to make the right subs. He knows what team to put out against certain opposition. So he deserves a lot of credit for, for us getting promoted. It was certainly a dream goal. Beautiful diving header, which will go down in Braintree Town history. Good to see Leon Davis joining in, the injured player who had to leave the game. Worthing were favourites, but Braintree are very worthy winners. Braintree Town are the winners of the 2024 National League South promotion final. They are going back to the National League and now the celebrations can begin. I feel for their fans a little bit. Boston United had the whole bank holiday weekend ahead of them. Braintree Town have got to make the most of the rest of the bank holiday. Well, they'll enjoy their night all the same, Adam Virgo. Yeah, they will do, and I say a huge congratulations to them again, and I echo what the boys were saying to Becky. It was a brilliant, brilliant advert for non-league football this game. You're talking about sixth tier of football, 2,500 fans here today at Worthing, and you've got a really, really entertaining game with entertaining goals.